conversations, the Lord did a lot of work with businesses. They spent, I can't even tell you the story about IRT. You can also talk to Ashley about this one with um, what um, the Disability Trust are doing. But IRT is a good example. They um, get phone calls from staff every single day, every single minute. Reset my password, reset my password, reset my password. What that does is ties up the other things. Can you give me an example of other things that IT department have to do? Where's IT today? Um, they are training in ACC, um, the new online rostering system. So everyone who works with us has to have a smartphone. Right, so if you are in IT and you're spending every single minute every single day fixing up how to log on to your account for all of your staff and IRT have 6,000 staff that's a lot of what? Cost, time, waste, energy, frustration. <laughs> the blue boss will know. <laughs> um, so that one there I think is gold for business because we really do need to focus on that for extensive costs. Like, I know that with, with one organisation, they've saved a million dollars a year on help desk costs. Wouldn't it be nice if the help desk people could do the help desk stuff? I uh -huh. like going out and training people how to use their internal program. Okay. Okay, Ed. Ed, we love Ed. Ed stands for Everyday Digital. Ed is support. Ed is the future, and Ed is Everyday Digital. Everyday Digital is Ed. Ed is a course and also a kit. I've brought Ed along, and I'm going to let him out of the box. So here he is. Okay, so here he is, and if we were to open up Ed, you'll see that there is one of our lovely little brochures giving us some information about the course and the other courses that we offer. I'd love to get some feedback on those from you guys because um, they're our rules. Ed also has some NBN information in it. Thank you. And Ed also has one of these. What's that? <laughs> It is a large print internet address and password bundle. Now we, we actually do give these to our students because they have got no idea what has been set up. And then we constantly, for the Be Connected program, there are four things, Lynn. What do we need? Yes, you use a name, your password, your um, PIN number and something else. And your email address. So without that, you will not survive the digital world. So for our non-techie people, we give them one of these and we say, I don't want your address. But not really, all they need to do is put it on a bookshelf because people won't book there, okay? Or in a safe. So that is in it. We also have a pair of earphones. Why would we have a pair of earphones? Because everybody needs them. In everything, everyday digital, we need earphones. Why? Right. Do you know what I was in the Where was I and what was I doing? Trish was on the beach and we had a class. This is when we had the digital accelerator program. Um, and she said, I'm going away. And we we're like, no, you have a class that day. And she was like, well, I can teach it online. And we were like, no way. And then she showed us way. So all I did was... She was on, in Perth on the beach <laughs> because she could. I remember oh, 30 years ago, I used to stand up in front of my class and go, you walk into the class one day and I'll shimmer. I'll be a hologram. I won't actually even be there. You walk past and I'll just do it. If you go down to the MCD, you'll see Shane Warren actually is a hologram and comes out and teaches you about um, cricket. But nowadays, we've got a step further than that. We can train and be educated from everywhere. We actually have a subject, a course that we teach called Learn How to Learn Online, believe it or not. To be able to do that, we've got to have these. Why? Videos, chat, listen to music, <laughs> watch TV. 
Okay, don't forget that all of our digital products now are on our phone. All of our entertainment. Who watches um, maths in the bath from your phone? Clearly you. <laughs> 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 you don't want to know. <laughs> okay, so for that purpose, we don't use headphones in the bath because we would get. So you're going to get a safety lesson here as well. <laughs> but we all do. Now, also, air has a couple of other things. And these are basically must haves. With air, you must also have a pop socket. What's pop socket at? These really awesome things. And what are you using um, for? Um, for me, personally, sitting in bed and watching Netflix. I'm not going to without dropping it on my hand. Right. <laughs> so pop sockets um, are actually even better than that. So they're there for entertainment purposes. <laughs> but my mother-in-law has very, very severe um, arthritis. And she can't hold her phone. So what it enables her to do is pop it out, sit it on the desk, like so. Here's one I prepared earlier. And she can have a conversation with me without having to touch it. Okay, so there are lots and lots of reasons to have it. But if you're going to become an online learner with Ed, you can use PopSocket to video record yourself doing something like Brad is doing now. See his new pop socket? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. What's that one? It's a cool one. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one, this one was given to me by a friend. Uh, she knew I had a pop socket anyway, but she, this is one has my logo on it that I use for gaming purposes. Mm -hmm. um, and so randomly in the mail, I get a pop socket and I'm like, what the hell? Where did I get this from? I go online and she's like, did you get it in the mail? And I was like, what? The pop socket? She's like, yeah, I made that for you. I was like, thank so they're you. They're kind of special. Yeah. So you'll notice that Ashlyn has one as well. What do you use yours for, Ash? My pop socket? Yeah, just one more example. Um, so much. To be honest, I use it to, um, I have a phone holder in my car, mm -hmm. and then I put my GPS on, pop it in, so I don't have to touch my phone while I'm driving. Because you'll be fine how much money. <laughs> and we're just going to wait too many. Okay, so we're going to information for you. The new law will also state that the person in the passenger seat can also be fined for being on technology whilst the driver is concentrating. So be careful. Also, Ed has our contact details. And one of my favourites is a pen. Yes, we still take those. We also have a USB. And something that I did find that was extremely important is this. Because we were without power and communications for five days, uh, can anyone tell me what that is? Yeah, it's a battery. Yeah. So Ed is pretty much the kit itself is like a survival kit for something that we've all recently been through. So we put this together based on a toolkit that we've had running for trainers, the actual um, 150 corporate trainers that we developed it, um, about 10 years ago. So we've moved it over into real life because there is a need. Have you all got one of them? Mm -hmm. So if your phone's mm -hmm. flat, you've got a full charge. Give it back to your neighbor. 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 Give it back Right. So when we look at Ed from that um, perspective as a kit, that's just the tools that you need to be able to get through Ed. But Ed is actually like a digital footprint and a wheel kit for your digital profile. Now, we developed this Brad and I because it's the one thing that everybody needs every single time we see them. And I, again, am speaking from my personal experience. I lost my Medicare card. Is that a big deal? Okay, so I lost my hard drive and I lost my Medicare card. Why would I need my Medicare card? 
form of identity. That gets in there now, yeah. <laughs> Someone asked for the optometrist, booked an appointment, couldn't find a Medicare card, but fortunately they had it on the record. So what Ed is, is a course on how to keep your information safe. Okay? How to keep copies of your information. How to photograph your um, personal documents. How to keep copies of those, digital copies of those. How to um, one of my friends is a teacher at school, some of you will know who I'm talking about. Um, he passed away from cancer a couple of years ago and his digital files are still there. They just don't automatically shut down. You need to actually tell people what you want to do with your digital footprint. The only way to do that is to put it in the so Ed is everyday digital. It's things we do every day that we need to keep a record of. And inside Ed, there, is pro there are provisions for keeping all of this information safe, then locking it and giving it to a person in your family or to a solicitor or somebody like that who can follow your instructions after your are Now. There's nothing worse than losing information. What Ed enables you to do is keep it and edit it and change it. Because of the technology that we have, you can do that from your phone using the apps that we teach you inside this. What do you think of Ed? Do you think Ed is something that is required for everyone? Handy. It's handy. Lenny, 